For more on this, I'm joined now by Lok Siu from Berkeley, California. She's an associate professor in the Department of Ethnic Studies at UC Berkeley. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Of course. So as we heard there, that double threat of the pandemic, uh, coupled with a wave of attacks on Asian Americans, have turned many of the country's Chinatowns into virtual ghost towns. Uh, where are we now with recovery? Are things returning to normal? Very slowly. Um, it's a slow recovery. Um, I think some of the, the restaurants have become much more um, innovative in terms of uh, creating outdoor eating spaces. But still, you know, I think with that, um, they still cannot get the full capacity in the indoor eating either. So they're at no, um, in, in, in no way sort of making the same, um, uh, having the same capacity as they would have before the pandemic. Um, you know, some of the store owners were very innovative in the very beginning in terms of, um, you know, making sure that there are dividers, there are people are wearing masks, um, that people are checked, you know, um, as they walk in the doors for um, all kinds of shops. And they did um, some very uh, heavy social media um, advertisements to make sure that it's out to the public. But even with those um, efforts, you know, I think it's very slow uh, recovery for um, the Chinatowns. And of course, as you mentioned, the anti-Asian violence that's been happening um, targeting Asian Americans has not helped at all. Um, that adds an, um, a fear of a physical attack, you know, as people are, are walking through the streets, in addition, you know, to what has been experienced with the pandemic um, fears as well. Right, of course. And as we both know, um, Chinatowns are typically marked by small business owners. And you mentioned this creativity that they've come up with to, in order to survive, but really to weather such storms of the past year and a half, it requires more than just creativity, right? Are they actually getting help, uh, these small businesses? That's right. Um, there has been government support programs, but again, uh, you know, many of the uh, Chinatown store, small store owners, they have some disadvantages, you know, one of which is language. You know, they may not have the, the fluency to be able to fill out the forms to understand all the parameters. And uh, these loans are, um, uh, government support loans are first come first serve basis. So oftentimes, you know, they're not getting it in time to get the sort of support that they need. Um, the other aspect is that they, uh, many of these companies um, also run on a cash economy. Um, and so, you know, with that, you know, comes with you know with the, the the loan applications they require so much documentation um, of all the expenses of all the employments and everything else that i think it puts really um the small chinatown um, owners at a disadvantage i mean the, even before the pandemic though is it fair to say that traditional chinatowns across the u.s have been slowly dying out i see it here in dc i was filming in los angeles all of last week uh, before that in new york's canal street they just don't seem to be as vibrant as before, uh, which makes me wonder, are Chinatown neighborhoods losing their importance in today's world? You know, it, I think it depends on um, the location of the Chinatowns. I, th I think it's temporary. Um, much of the Chinatown, you know, it's, it's both a tourist attraction, but they, they're also supporting so many of the communities, the nearby communities, you know, on their daily activities, you know, for grocery shopping, for, um, you know, going to the doctors, you know, going to the herbal shops and things like that. Um, and I think as, as, as long as those communities remain vibrant, you know, and people are not fearing, you know, get, leaving the home and um, going into uh, you know, their daily activities without fear, um, I think things will return, you know, to um, perhaps a, a better level than what we are dealing with now. Um, and I, I do think that uh, Chinatown is such a marker of our, our history, you know, our Asian American history, Chinese American history, um, that I think it will continue to um, play a role in um, attracting tourists, you know, from all over as well.